how are you okay from a scale of one to ten how are you you know comment down below let me know how are you how are you doing are you good are you not let's talk about it right so today i decided to do a soul body mind day right i know mind body soul kind of sounds cute but i was like you know what soul mind body day because you know if the soul is not good and the mind is not going to be good and therefore the body is not going to be, be good because you know like you're not feeling like taking care of yourself because your mind isn't really in the right headspace but also at the same time your soul is so important you know so um this morning i actually woke up and you know i was just very down because the day before that i basically fell into temptation into sin you know and i was just being really like very hard on myself in the sense where like i just felt i, I feel like i wasn't feeling conviction but but what i was feeling was guilt right i was feeling very guilty in the sense where like you know the way that i feel like i i differentiate guilt is is um this right so guilt is basically when you want to i know like the google definition might say something different but um to me i see guilt as like when you no longer want to be in the presence of god you want to separate yourself from god because you feel very unclean basically right and i would say conviction conviction is like okay and I, I sinned right but god please forgive me repent right and then but 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 you still want to get close to god basically you know and i think that's conviction right where you want to change right but still want to you know remain in the presence of god right whereas in guilt 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 takes you away from god you know like makes you want to isolate you know it makes you feel like you can't be in god's presence right so basically i got up and then so then i decided you know what let me feed my body right when i say i got up like when i woke up in the morning like i wasn't really, really feeling my best you know but then i was like you know what something needs to change here right so i put on some worship music i worshiped you know and then i was like you know what let me have you know a body soul mind day right but now that i'm thinking about it i feel like it's more soul mind body day right so then um you know i worshiped and then um as i'm listening to my worship song i to my worship music i decided you know what let me make myself a cute meal you know sometimes i feel like just doing going the extra mile for yourself you know like you know i had the option of eating um maize meal porridge right right but i was like you know what since we have bananas you know and we have a man mango you know let me you know let me make something cute let me whip up something cute and sometimes it's just it's those little things you know that make you feel better you know or just make you like it's like self-care treat yourself right and if you any and if you don't have a mango whatever fruit you have apple banana whatever you have you know yeah so then i started you know i chopped up my mangoes you know chopped up my um bananas i love bananas and yogurt especially the woolworths plain yogurt i'm putting you guys on like i am putting you guys on. i'm gonna tell you this it's still it's delicious like just bananas alone with the woods um plain yogurt i love it especially i think if it's the double cream that one amazing okay i'll be back let me open the door someone's knocking like I would replace right banana banana slice the bananas with um the double cream yogurt from with that I would replace it any day right with I no I would replace ice cream with that combo like the plain yogurt and the sliced bananas I love it delicious mm -mm, delicious right so yeah you know and then I ate my mangoes and my bananas drank my water you know and I'm just honestly living like I was just enjoying this you know what like this day you know and then I decided you know what after once I'm done I'm gonna put on a cute outfit I'm going to um you know I, I actually decided to do like an all body you know like shower which is like I have these like gloves right and they're like these exfoliating gloves they're like pink gloves you can i think you can get them at this camp or clicks and also bling i think so but i think the quality might vary from where you buy them i'm not sure but i have the pink one right and basically what i do is i'll put like body wash on um on them right and then i'll like you know um leather my body basically it's kind of like a loofah in a way but i feel like this is much more better because you can like you know wash the gloves as if, as if you're washing your hands if that makes sense but that's what i basically did and, and it just makes your skin feel so soft you know and also you smell good you know because because of the body wash right so so yeah and then um i decided bef actually before i went to go shower i was like you know what let me meal prep um a sandwich so i whipped up um you know some chicken sweet chili and mayonnaise right i whipped that up you know and then yeah and then i put it in the fridge and then i decided to make myself like this chip dip basically with cucumber um mayonnaise and a little bit of black pepper 
and um yeah just th- that's about it you know and then i made my cucumbers into like little cubes squares cut them up slice them up you know put them in whipped it up mix 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 and then i loved it like i was eating it and like it just tasted like especially since i like i put um, the dip in the fridge right to like cool like when i was eating it with, with my chips right it was just like eating the crunch of the chips but also having that like cool like of the of the dip basically if that makes sense right so yeah okay i'm back so basically i muted you right for a couple of like seconds so that i could so i could, I could go grab my bible and my book and we're just gonna go to um luke 22 verse 31 and we're just gonna talk about it okay so grab your bible and let's go there okay i'm there <clears throat> okay so basically it says right so it's luke 22 verse 31 it says and the lord said simon simon indeed satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith should not fail and when you and when you have returned to me strengthen your brethren right and when i was reading it i read it as natasha natasha indeed satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat right and then i went on um google right actually on chrome and you know i found this um bible study a uh, website right called bible study tool right and I, I clicked on there and i started studying how like you know basically what they mean by sift right sift in the sense of i think back then when they used to like sift wheat right they used to um i don't, I don't know if you guys know what the sift is but I, I think i know what a sift is but I'll, I'll put it i'll try to put it on the screen and show you guys but um I'll, I'll just send you a picture of it like on the screen look there so um you know they would sift the wheat trying to get all the dirt right out of the wheat right and basically sift the meaning in the sense of like shaking right so basically what it means is that simon's faith would be shaken right to the point where you know like yeah basically shaken right but i have prayed for you that your faith shall, should not fail when you have returned right so it's like christ is like i know that your faith will be tested right and he goes on to say in verse 34 that i tell you peter the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny me three times right that you know me jesus knows that peter will will, will deny him but he still says and he knows that he will fall into temptation right but he still says that you know even when this has happened right in verse 32 he says says that and when you have returned to me it's like god expects you to return like come back to me right and it says when you have returned to me strengthen your faith right and also it says um in the previous like line it says but i have prayed for you that your faith should not fail like we have a high priest who prays for us i know the high priest prays for me yo that song and then let me just get like um my study book and show you and read something to you guys okay Okay, so also the me- the mes- message version, right, says, Simon, stay on your toes, right? So Simon, 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 you know, so Simon, stay on your toes. Satan has tried to, Satan has tried to best, best to separate all of you from me, right? Like chef from wheat, right? Then John 17 verse 9 says, Jesus is praying for us. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world but for those whom you have given to me for they are yours right and that's just so beautiful in the sense where like the lord is praying but like jesus is praying for us you know and it's like and my prayer was basically that you know i said abba my prayer to you most high is that you complete the good work that you have began in me right philippians um speaks about um I'll put the verse on the screen but it basically speaks about how you know christ you know will complete the good work that he has started within us right and i was just asking the lord to not give up on me and you know just to intercede for me and strengthen me and renew my mind you know against the sin
Okay, so I have to go right now, but we'll catch up on our next call. Okay, bye.